Welcome back to the Prep Fix Report. We went to the Wayback Machine there for uh, the, flip the first, phones. I like that. first and 15. You still have one, so you can do. Talk. All right, let, let's talk about the Estrada brothers at Kearney, Nico and Cruz. Uh, interesting combo and combination, right? It is. You know, great running back with Nico. And I, I didn't even know his brother was a freshman starting. I thought he was on a, a, you know, the freshman team or the novice team, but played great at outside linebacker. Um, you know, Nico came from Cathedral, I believe, as a junior. Um, just a great running back. Just one of those small, shifty running backs you see like Sproles. All right, and we were there. Part of the pre-PR was great to see Coach John Shacklett at John Shacklett Field. This was part of the pre-PR earlier tonight. Coach Shack talking about being on the field that he immortalized. I mean, it's overwhelming. This happened when they first put it on. They kind of hand painted it on a, an, old, <laughs> uh, an old scoreboard that we had out here, and it, and it was the ASB that brought my wife and I out here when I announced my retirement, and they named the field. And so, about every other year, I would call and say, "Is my name still on those?" <laughs> first of all, I had no idea. I'm carrying in a bunch of cookies that my wife had been working on, and I go through the door, and there's Lincoln Kennedy standing. And there and then I see Paul and I said, "What the, yeah, you know, what's going on here?" All of a sudden, now I realize it's a surprise party for me. Coach Shaq, turning a, you work with Coach. What has he meant to San Diego High School football? Oh God, he's been the standard since I got here 30 years ago. I think uh, you know we mentioned earlier one of the best teams in the country in '90. Um, he's still the standard now. The D stands for David, by the way. He told yeah. me, and thank you for inviting me to his party. I appreciate that. Yeah, well, we you know, we, we had only limited invitations. <laughs> we had to be you. very picky about who was in and who was out. Uh, I have to ask you this. I know this is going off into right field, or left field, however uh, you want to call it. But Antonio Brown, the Raiders bent over backwards to keep yeah. Antonio Brown. What, what is the collateral damage of a decision like that for the youth who see an organization bending over for their best player? I, I think it's horrible. Um, I think the problem became when these players make so much guaranteed money in the beginning. I mean, you make 40, 50 million dollars guaranteed and you don't have to work for the rest of your life so you almost do anything. They had one thing to hold them back, and that was, you know, the 30 million could have been voided, guaranteed by the first, you know, being on the roster for the first game. Now he's on it. Now they have to deal with him all year, and I really don't know. And then he put another video out with this conversation with Gruden. So, I mean, he just doesn't stop. All right. Bert, thank you very much. Get thank some you sleep. for having me. Folks, the party's just getting started. I, it's all coming up. Week three of the Prep Pigskin Report, including highlights from that big game at Cathedral. It's right around the bend. You're watching KUSI TV. Thanks, Paul. Well, coming up next on the Prep Pigskin Report, you just saw the highlights from the State Farm Game of the Week between Morse and Kearney, but we still have highlights from 27 more games coming up, including Centennial's highly anticipated visit to Cathedral Catholic. Speaking of Cathedral Catholic, Logan Burzins will take his spot in Shaq's pig pen, and Scripps Ranch Falcon Makai Shaw is under the student-athlete spotlight. All of this and more when the PPR starts in two minutes.